The World Health Organization has been requested by member states to prepare a global strategy on human resources for health by 2016. In parallel, the UN Secretary General is requesting a revised update to the Every Woman, Every Child strategy. These two processes offer unprecedented opportunity to ensure alignment on the health workforce requirements and the midwifery workforce requirements. Today's Geneva Dialogue is an opportunity to ensure we align these two processes. Uh, the work of a midwife, um, to me, really is a starting point uh, in building a strong and resilient health system. Strengthening and consolidation of midwifery service can make a huge difference in delivery of health services to women and children. Midwives are not a luxury. Investing in the midwifery workforce is not only about achieving quality care at childbirth, but also about ensuring progress towards universal access to sexual reproductive health for women and adolescents. So without a competent workforce that has, uh, there can be no quality healthcare services. And a competent workforce requires the participation of midwives. In fact, midwives are central to that. It is absolutely vital for our democratic countries to combat maternal mortality and neonatal mortality must be considered today as a social investment and a vital economic investment. Interventions in health facilities alone will not reduce maternal mortality. You need improvement in the quality of care, of course, especially maternal care and emergency services. And you need midwives to play that critical role. Human resources in the health sphere are the cornerstone of the healthcare system. So we need to invest in this strategic area and that would really ensure substantive improvements in the healthcare sector international monetary funds, the World Bank, need to address this issue and need to revise the policies for development. Educating and training midwives is one of the most important things that the government should do when it comes to healthcare. If investments are made at, at the right point, we can provide a minimum package of care for every person. Improving health outcome, we need midwives, we need midwives, we need midwives. So I repeated three times to emphasize the important point. Ambassadors and heads of agencies have clearly given us the evidence and the rallying call for action. We need universal access to sexual and reproductive health, universal health coverage, and universal access to a healthcare worker.